gazelle. You're over the hill. It's time to retire. Permanently. <laughs> Years left. Thanks for dropping by, mutant. Another victory over evil for the League of Good Guys. <laughs> I'll try not to leave any squid marks. <laughs> Skipper Dad's home. I don't think you want him to see you reading that. But, Mom, the mass mutant mutated into a giant squid. Look, he's the galloping gazelle in a death grip. Oh, dear. Just let me finish it, okay? Well, um... Oh. Skipper? What did I say about those comic books? No reading comic books till all your homework is finished. Is all his homework finished? Hello, dear. Is all your homework finished? Mm. Not all of it. Yeah, well, why do you think your grades are so poor? Why do you think his grades are so poor? Yeah. Because he spends all his time buried in a comic book. But, Dad, I don't just read them. I collect them. See, like, the Silver Swan. This is a first edition. Do you know how much this thing's worth? No, how much? That is not the point. Your obsession with these things, you know, it's unhealthy. You don't pay attention to anything else. He doesn't pay attention to anything else. Well, Skipper, try to pay attention to something else. Would you see, Skipper? Yeah? Dinner time. Oh, yes. Jumping, jelly beans. <laughs> I, I tell you, those things are going to ruin that kid. Oh, hush. It's only a comic book. Yeah. We'll be right back. Hey, hey, hey guys. Hey guys, mom. Columbia Pictures presents Igor, Fluffy, Grumpy, Featherbrain. And Amy. Come on, Amy! Come on, Amy! The extraordinary girl. You take that plane, you take those geese, and you fly away. Who will lead them home. This is so cool! Woo! Dad, you're really flying with me! Jeff Daniels, Academy Award winner Anna Paquin. Fly away home. Rated PG. Special sneak preview tonight and Sunday afternoon. Check newspapers. My science project stinks. Time for a fresh start, so let's get your project rolling. I love Captain Fly cereal. That's it, Captain. Thank you for your uh, exhaustive study of the mung bean. Cody? Presenting the effect of Captain Crunch cereal on Mrs. Oak's science class. It's the delicious part of a balanced fragment. Let's study another bowl. You and the Captain make it happen. It's Juice and Cookies Baby Alive. Sipping from your juice box just for me. You're as real as can be. Juice and Cookies Baby Alive. It's fun making snacks just for you. You need your bib. Take a bite of your cookie. Drink your juice too. Changing your diaper when you're through. She really chew. Juice and Cookies Baby Alive. I love the way you make me feel. You're so real. New Juice and Cookies Baby Alive comes with their own juice box and everything you see here. Each sold separately. Batteries not included. Wow, Arnold, that cheeseburger looks real enough to eat. <laughs> Why, thank you, Annie. Rubble, rubble! I didn't know Hamburglar liked art. Well, he's always had good taste. <gasps> Ronald makes it <laughs> magic. Where are you going with Mom's rock? I gotta do some flying, like in Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Now McDonald's has your favorites from Disney's new movie on video. One with each Happy Meal you buy. Make me fly, oh genie of the magic lamp. Gravy boat, Alex. That's a gravy boat. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to find out who is the Gold Ranger. It's time for a gold rush! His identity is unknown, even to the Power Rangers. Who is this guy? When overwhelmed with danger, like a streak of lightning, he appears when they need him most. How about I even up the score? Be careful. You will experience the extreme. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Who is the Gold Ranger? You've got to watch Fox Kids to find out. Don't miss the season premiere of Power Rangers Zeo Monday after Beetleborgs on Fox Kids. 
You're not afraid of ghosts, are you? Not on your afterlife. Not even big, ugly ones? If you're girly ghosts. Or stinky ones? Somebody smell me. How about nasty, slimy ones? We've been slime. You. Okay, what about this one? Don't be afraid of me. I'm a friendly ghost. <laughs> Don't be scared. It's an all-new Casper next Saturday morning at 8 on Fox Kids. Now back to our show. You will see. Oh, you have to check this out. Look, it's the first time they've shown the secret headquarters of the mass mutant. Oh, great. In issue 12, page 4, panel 3, he talked about his headquarters, but they never showed it. Which one is he again? Which one is he again? Oh, man, Wilson, I don't believe you. Come on. The Mask Mutant is the most evil comic book villain there is. Hey, wait a minute. Is this a new rock I found? Look. What's so great about that? Well, if you hold it like this, it's like a duck. It does? Huh. Did this morning. Hey, I'm going to look for some more rocks after school. You want me to come? Uh, I gotta catch a bus. I got another orthodontist appointment. Why do you collect rocks anyway? I don't know. They're easy to find. No matter where you are, you're always near a rock. I don't get what the big deal about comic books is. Well, I'll get you and your rocks. Hey, what'd you get? Uh, tuna. Yeah, me too. Want to trade? What for? I don't know. Okay. I don't know, it just feels like someone's watching me. Still don't see anyone. Hey, can you see these spiders? to the empty seat. Yeah, I go there. How is it? I don't know. It's an okay school. I didn't mean to interrupt your reading. Oh, that's okay. I've read it four times. My name's Libby. I'm Skipper. Do you collect comic books? Yeah. So do I. What kind? High School Harry and Beanhead. Oh man, those are the worst. I think they're very well written. And they're funny. Yeah, right. High school Harry with those stupid little tic-tac-toe check marks all over his temples. And that guy Beanhead, so nauseating. What do you collect? All that superhero junk? Like the masked mutant? Yeah, I know everything about the mutant. He's the most evil supervillain of them all. I mean, look at this artwork. It's way better than the high school Harry comics. There's no contest. See, the mutant's been battling the gazelle. The galloping gazelle. Galloping gazelle? Talk about dumb. It's not dumb, Libby. The gazelle's at the end of his career. He has to battle the mutant for the fate of the planet. What's so dumb about that? Are all the boys at Franklin like you? Nah, I'm the coolest. Oh, man, I missed my stop. Nice meeting you. See you again sometime. Look at his moves on those oranges, lemons, cherries, limes, berries. 
<sighs> Whoops. Ah, ah. Fruit Loops. At last. Yay, I've got two cans. Kellogg's Fruit Loops cereal, a fruitful part of this complete breakfast. What ends up blue and wet? No, not me. Right. It's the Toucan Sam Color Change Squirter. Fill it with cold water and watch out. One free in Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Ocean friends, Barbie and Keiko, explore the wonders of the sea. Though the water's cold, Barbie dives right in. Her wetsuit magically appears on her skin. Whoa. When Keiko's tangled up, Barbie saves the day. Under warmer waters, her wetsuit goes away. Cool. Ocean friends, Barbie and Keiko, have new adventures every day. Ocean friends, Barbie doll and Keiko. With her magic wetsuit, she's ready for ocean adventure. It's the Pizza Head Show. Hey, everybody! When you buy a pizza on Kids Pack, you can get a Johnny Quest Pack. There's Johnny, Haji, Jesse, and Quest World Johnny. One each week! Look, Pizza Head, I already got mine. Hey, those aren't the real guys! Sure they are. Hey, put me down! And Haji Steve wants you to stop a comet from colliding with the Earth. Blast off! Oh, pizza Head, the comet should be dead ahead. Uh-oh! You did it! Congratulations, first pizza on the moon. Oh, thank you. We'll see you next time. The real Johnny Quest Packs are at Pizza Hut. Make your move, hot shot. Extreme, fun, extreme, cool. A buggy give place to be. Extreme, rush, extreme moves. It's your philosophy. Kids, swinging by a magic monster. Your entertainment team. Generation Fox Kids, experience the extreme. The Fox Kids Network just heard a startling rumor. Keep your eyes and ears open. This season, Carmen San Diego will finally be brought to justice. You're flying on the wrong broomstick. After hiding out all summer, the world's master thief can now be spotted weekdays on Fox Kids. Getcha, Carmen! The adventure continues. Get to me, and I'm yours to take you. Will Carmen be caught, or is it just a rumor? Game's not over till the lady in red sings. Where on earth is Carmen San Diego? Starting Monday on Fox Kids, that's where. Now back to our show. Help! Newton's headquarters. Can't be. same building. Uh, but that's impossible. It's from a comic book. Man. Got it. Solve the mystery. Who draws the masked mutant? Who's the artist? Wilson, it's Ernie Atwater. Come on, everybody knows that. Well, I'll bet that guy, Atwater, was here one day. Ernie Atwater coming to Tarrington? Sure. Let's say he's here. He's driving down the street. And he sees this weird building. And he thinks, what a great building. And it'd be perfect. The secret headquarters of the masked mutant. So he copied it for the comic book. Yeah, I guess that's possible. What? Did you think it was the mutant's headquarters? He's a comic book character, remember? Yeah, I guess you're right. Okie dokie, Wilson. I think you should probably go home. Skipper's got to get to his homework. Ooh. You need two hands. Oh. Want a rock? Not real. Later. See you, Wilson. Strange. Okay. Up with the comic books. Time for homework. Okay, Dad. Yeah. Uh, I'm 
I'm sorry, Dad. I know I shouldn't be sleeping. I, I just couldn't put this down. He, uh, algebra? You weren't reading a comic book? No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm a skipper. I can't tell you how happy I am to see that you're, you're interested in something besides that 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 masked mutant. <laughs> yeah. Well, good night, Dad. You, you know, I was starting to worry about you, son. Okay, Dad. Well, good night. Oh yeah, you gotta get to sleep because you got that uh, early follow-up appointment with your orthodontist tomorrow morning. Yeah. Got to be on the bus by six thirty. Uh, even earlier, if I want to see the headquarters. I mean, I. What headquarters? What are you talking about? Dad, were you ever good at algebra? Uh, me? Uh, oh, uh, golly, no. No, no. Okay. But I'm glad to see that you're finding it interesting, though. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Dad. Mm -hmm. Just gotta see this place again. Sorry. That's weird. It was right there. I know it was. Uh, hey, did you see a building there? Building where? Right there. Yesterday, it was right on that spot. It looked like this. No wonder you're seeing things. This stuff will rot your mind. Skipper. I wasn't expecting anything. Oh. Well, it's a special edition. <laughs> Never done that before. It can't be. It's not possible. Heroes, that's their dream. Who said they make the team? Wham, bam, cabal, kazam, dive right into comic land. Experience the extreme. It's a fantastic scream. Heroes like nobody can. Do these things with no hands. Joe's stronger than a man. What a wild and crazy clan. Big bad Beetleborgs. Don't miss an all-new Big Bad Beetleborgs weekdays and Saturday morning. Only on Fox Kids. A dream come true. That's me. To become a superhero. I'm in the comic book. Is it a dream? I don't think so. Or a nightmare. <laughs> Experience the extremely scary. Watch as the one-hour season premiere of Goosebumps the Mass Mutant continues on Fox Kids. Say goodbye. Fox Kids wants you to be prepared. This alien is a threat to all life on Earth. Prepare for the shocking season premiere of X-Men. There is no refuge from the phalanx. One full hour of totally extreme mutated action. This is the final solution. Don't miss the X-Men one hour special today at 10, only on Fox Kids. Now the martial arts get real. WMAC Masters, World Martial Arts Champion. These WMAC Masters compete for each other's key, and you control the action. Superstars, powerful sword slash. The machine's pulverizing two-handed twist. Great Wolf, swinging club. Red Dragon's double-handed sword. Olympus's brutal kick. And Tiger Claw's fearsome death grasp. Display their keys on the coveted dragon belt. So get real. WMAC Masters from Bandai. New tricks! The best tasting tricks ever! I've gotta get in there and get some new tricks! <gasps> I know! I'm in! Let's get that star some new tricks! It's a fruity part of that good breakfast! New tricks with a taste that's fruitier! It's the rabbit! Uh oh. Silly rabbit! New tricks are for kids! No! 
now you can get your wish. Cool stampers from Disney's new video movie adventure, Aladdin and the King of Thieves. That's four stampers and pad with 425 and mail-in from one of these General Mills cereals. Now batting Ken Griffey Jr. Oh boy, Griffey takes a close one. I feel a lot of love in the park today. What makes Ken Griffey so sweet? You know, you should smile more. It's got to be the sweet tasted cereal, honey frosted Wheaties, frosted flakes kicked with Wheaties energy for a grand slam taste. Hey! Oh, a little club soda take that right out. Honey frosted Wheaties, it's sweet energy. Honey frosted Wheaties is part of this complete breakfast. On Fox Saturday Baseball, the Chicago Cubs battle for the wild card spot as they take on the Philadelphia Phillies. Mark Grace has powered the Cubs back into the pennant race as he shoots for his first NL batting crown. But the Phillies, led by hot-hitting Jim Eisenreich, look to dash the Cubs' playoff plans. And Eisenreich has done it again! It's a crucial game for the Cubs as they look to keep their postseason hopes alive. The Cubs take on the Phillies today at 11.30 on Fox 32. Now back to our show. Whoa, whoa. It's not possible. No way. Wilson, look what the mutants say. I'm tracking each one of them. They'll never find me. I've thrown an invisibility curtain around my entire headquarters. I know, but it's a comic book, Skipper. But I saw this building myself, and then the next day it was gone. And now this. What if there really is an invisibility curtain? There's no such thing. Then what happened? I don't know. There's got to be a logical explanation. I'm going to find out what it is. <sighs> Attack of the mutants! Are you jumpy or what? It's not funny. Look, the building was there yesterday. It was? I've never seen it. You haven't? I don't think so. Well, I have. Here, take a look at this. An invisibility curtain? Now I know why they call you Skipper. When they handed out brains, you got skipped. Well, you have to admit this is weird. I'll admit that you're weird. In the comic book, people could walk right through the invisibility curtain, but they couldn't feel it or anything. It was kind of like... Like walking through a smoke screen. And once you've walked through the curtain, you can see the building. Okay, let's get this over with. Then when you see that you're nuts, we can have a normal conversation. Come on. We are now stepping through the invisibility curtain. Very funny. <gasps> Let's get out of here, okay? No way. Come on, let's go in. Go in? Are you crazy? No. Don't even start to think about it. Just go. Wow. Where is everyone? What was that? It was what? Didn't you feel that? I didn't feel anything. Are you trying to scare me or something? No, there was an electrical beam. It, it shined on me when I stepped forward. Let's get out of here. It's so quiet, it's creepy. Well, there was a beam sort of like that in one of the Avenging Eagle comics. I think it was issue four. It was a beam that led to a parallel dimension, but it wasn't like that. I feel like I'm standing in a giant box of crayons. I think it's awesome. Hello? Is anybody here? I know what you're thinking. You think this is the secret headquarters of the mighty mutator. It's the mass mutant. Can we please get that straight? And what if it is? How else could you explain the invisibility curtain? I can't explain it. It's weird. It's too weird. Well, there's only one way to find out the truth, right? No way. Okay, Libby, let's go. You really think a comic book character can come to life? 
That's sad. That's really sad. Don't make me cry. Come on, let's go. Okay, but if this Newton creep shows up, I'm out of here. I thought you didn't believe it. I don't. <sighs> okay, top floor.
We'll be right back. Happy Meals made specially for you guys. Thanks, Ronald. Those are the last ones. Happy, 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 happy. happy. Wait, Bertie. Hello? You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. Who was it? He didn't say. Oh. <laughs> Open Sesame. Your favorites from Disney's new movie on video, Aladdin and the King of Thieves, are now at McDonald's. There's Aladdin, Jasmine, and more. One figure in play scene with each Happy Meal you buy. Open Sesame. <laughs> that only works in the movies, Dad. It's Melanie's Mall. I'm Melanie. These are my friends. The Magic Mall's where the fun begins. Do you like doing things that most girls do? It's cool at the mall. It's cool at the mall. Melanie's Mall has all the cool stores. Hang out with friends and shop for everything. Wow! It comes with two levels, a revolving door, and an escalator that really works. Here's Melanie. Add your favorite stores, like a makeup shop, to make Melanie glamorous. Then there's the ballet studio. And give Melanie a new look at the fancy gown shop. And some great new styles at the beauty salon. Awesome hairdo. It's cool at the mall. Head to the surf shop for the hottest swimsuits. Great bikini. There's even a music store. Cool tunes. Add as many stores as you like. It's cool at the mall. A Melanie doll comes with each store. Some stores and dolls sold separately. From Cap Toys. Batteries not included. Got video games on the brain at night? Uh-huh. Well, wake up! Ah! And enter the Fox Kids Flight into Night Sweep Thing. Prepare to fly, because you can win a Sega Saturn with every piece of Saturn software, including the game Night. That's just the start of your flying adventure, because we're also going to fly you to Tokyo, Japan, to play all day and night at Sega's Joyful and High-Tech Theme Park. Fifty lucky others will win their own Sega Saturn and Night's game. Get a postcard with your name and address by September 27th to Fox Kids Flight into Night. P.O. Box 1129, Los Angeles, 90078. Nighttime will never be the same. All new next Saturday. Don't think we're gonna make it, Dad. He's so cool, he's the bomb. Got a little brother just tag along. Can we leave him in the car? Check it out, turn him on. Louie, Louie, he's the bomb. Catch the season premiere of Life with Louie, 930 next Saturday morning on Fox Kids. Now back to our show. No, please! Please what? Please don't threaten you with the cardboard cutouts. Huh? What? Huh? What? <laughs> Where'd you get that? Down the hallway. And I also found another elevator. Now we can get out of here. Oh, good. Let's go. Oh, wait. You gotta check this out. I found all these drawings, and they're drawings of me. They were right here. I swear. Come on, Skipper. Let's go. We fooled around long enough. I'm not kidding. Let me go. Come on. The elevator's waiting. What? The... Come on, Skipper. Libby! Libby! Libby, wait up! I gotta get home. My mom's gonna have a cow. You have to believe me. There were drawings of me in there. Great. Whatever. Look, this whole thing's too weird for me. I gotta go. See you around. Is there something wrong with a spaghetti skipper? Oh, no, I'm just not that hungry. Hmm. There's a first. Mark it on the calendar. Where does this thing happen today? Oh, by the way, I'm driving to work this morning, and what do I hear on the radio? What? A child psychologist is talking about how he thinks that some kids get so involved in comic books eh, that they they start living in their fantasies. Now, is that what I have been saying? Oh, what? That's what you've been saying? Mm -hmm. What were you about to say, Skipper? Oh, I, I, I forget, Mom. Are you feeling all right, dear? Yeah, I, I feel okay. I'm just, you know, kind of tired. I'm going to go to bed. Good night. Oh. Hmm. Well, he's not gonna eat Maybe you're going nuts. I swear I saw them. They were drawings of me. They even drew my braces. Too bad you don't have one of those drawings to show me. You don't believe me either? Well, I'm not saying you're lying. And what about the invisibility curtain? Am I just imagining that too? You know. That's what I like about collecting my rocks. There's nothing weird about them. 
No invisible rocks. No rocks that look like me. I like that about them. I don't know. Maybe I am going crazy. It's like I don't know what's real anymore. It's like my Uncle Ralph. First, he started seeing things that weren't there. Then he started smelling things. Then they took him away. Skipper? 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 Yeah, Dad? What is the matter with you? Uh, I don't know. You sick? No. You, you're sweating. I'm okay, Dad. Gosh, you know, I, I don't want you spending so much time on algebra, you don't get enough sleep. Okay. There's some mail for you. Okay, what is it? One of your comic books. That ought to cheer you up. Uh, but, uh, you do your homework first, huh? A new foe for the mutant? <sighs> That's me. The boy sneaked down the hallway. He knew that at any moment he could be destroyed. This is crazy. Two more minutes, and I'll be a grilled gazelle. Only the boy can save me now. Only the boy can save the world from the mass mutant's evil. But where is he? I'm right here. This is insane. Mom, Dad! I'm inside this comic book. Not, Not now. now. Dad, you gotta, you gotta see this. Oh. Well, did you get a letter to the editor published there? Somebody? No, Dad, look. I'm in the comic book. I can't see a thing. Would you get that thing away from me? Can't you see what these onions are doing to my eyes? Oh, well, there's a trick to cutting onions. You have no idea what it is. Oh, forget it. Ooh. Oh, well. Oh, honey. Hey, kid, you all by yourself? Huh? Somebody picking you up. Oh, no. You know, this part of town's not a good place for a kid to be at night. Yeah, well, there's something I have to do. You into comic books? Yeah. You gotta be careful with those things. They can warp your mind. Okay. Hey, kid, be careful out there. Be real careful.
help? Hey, kid, what took you so long? Don't you know you have to help me save the world? We'll be right back. Ten minutes. Ah, my public awaits. Is the fox ready? Absolutely. Okay, then. We need six cups of coffee, three tunas on rye, four fries, and a tea. No lemon. Any questions? Just one. Are you sure the mouse started this way? Trust me, kid. You'll go far. Next Saturday, Fox Kids is kicking off its new fall season Saturday lineup. First, it's heavy hit and fun with Seabear and Jamal at 7 a.m. Then, an all-new Big Bad Beetleborgs at 7.30. Eight, an all-new Casper. Web up at 8.30 for the season premiere of Spider-Man. Nine, an all-new Goosebumps. 9.30, the season premiere of Life with Louie. All-new X-Men action at 10. And 10.30, the ultimate question of the Tick's disappearance is answered with the season premiere of The Tick. Next Saturday, with lots of new shows, Fox Kids is the extreme. Hey out there, I'm Zach. I like to think of myself as a pretty normal kid, but the stuff that happens to me definitely isn't. It's all right here in the Zach Files. Four new funny and weird books about yours truly. Stack up on Zach wherever kids' books are sold. Well, as you can see, this one is a fabulous fixer-upper. And I bet... What was that? Eh, yeah, just the Beetleborgs. You'll hang a curtain, you'll never know they're there. Cool. Gia, we're afraid of... Of course you're afraid. So I'll throw in the sonic laser with a pulse saber to fight the forces of evil. Evil? And because it's you, I'll be the bonder. We'll take it. Huh? I love that kid. Bender. Action. Satisfaction. My friend Pointer is a library mascot, and he knows the power of a library card puts the future in your hands. Who knows? You could become a doctor, a newspaper editor, or even... A TV star. Read to grow at the library. A message from Pointer and the American Library Association. The dating newlywed hour, beginning Monday at 10 on Fox 32. And now, back to our show. You're the galloping gazelle. You're real. Real tired of waiting. Turn that heat off. Come on, I'm broiling. No, untie me. We have to hurry. I can't believe this. No, I'll give you my autograph later. Hurry up. We don't have much time. Time? We'll be back. We want to get him before he gets to us, right? Us? You're the kid, aren't you? You're the one who's supposed to help me fight the evil forces, aren't you? I... What's your name? Skipper. Weird name for a superhero. Just untie me, would you? Yeah. How old are you, kid? Eight, nine? I'm 12. Hey, don't get an attitude. Gazelle to League of Good Guys. Gazelle to League of Good Guys. Heck sakes, he jammed it. Come on, kid, hurry up. How'd you find the secret headquarters anyway? Use your secret cyber radar powers, right? Or your ultra mind control to read my thoughts and hurry to my rescue? No, I... I just took the bus. Ah. There! Thanks, kid. Now, let's pay him a surprise visit. Come on! Coming? Uh, can't we take an elevator? No climbing abilities, huh? You know, kid, if you're gonna be a superhero, you gotta start working out. Huh? Uh, all right, we'll take the stairs. Take your time. Take your time. We only have to save the planet. It's so 
over time. Whoa! This is incredible! Yeah. Not nearly as impressive as the control room for the League of Good Guys. We have a soft drink machine. What about the mass mutants? We'll just wait right here and surprise them. Just take a little off the top. Trim around the horns, please. <laughs> Not a very comfortable chair either. Snake! <laughs> There's a snake in my face! <laughs> Don't worry, kid. I've got an idea. Shall I give it a whirl? <laughs> you know, like snakes, kid. <laughs> Gee, and I was just getting comfortable. <laughs> Going somewhere. <laughs> Look at that windbag. <laughs> oh, shit. That's it. I'm out of here. Wait! Where are you going? He's right. I'm too old for this superhero stuff. You're on your own, kid. <laughs> oh, another victory for the League of Scared Guys. <laughs> Didn't you hear me call you? I was across the street. I saw you going to the building. Wow. This is so cool. You gotta be careful. The mutant's in here. Wait. It could be anything. The desk or, or the floor or the railing or these pipes or the ceiling. I know, I know. He's a mass mutant. He could be anything. He could even be me. Maybe that's not funny. There is no living. There never was. Oh. And now I must do something very bad to you, Skipper. No, please. <laughs> I'll just leave and take a bus home. And I won't tell anybody. Honest. I let you leave. <laughs> you belong here now. <laughs> I knew. When I saw you on that bus the first time, <laughs> I knew you were perfect. You said you knew everything about me. <laughs> it's so hard to find good characters for my stories. It's so hard to find good phones. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Destroy you, of course. No, you can't! You're just a character in a comic book. But I'm real! I'm a real boy! No! You're not, Skipper. You're not real. You're a comic book character, too. You're a liar! Yes! I'm a liar! It's one of my better qualities. But I'm not lying this time. You're not real anymore. Not real. <laughs> Remember when you entered the building for the first time? Remember when you walked through the glass door and a beam of light passed over you? Yeah, I remember. That was a scan. And when you passed through, it scanned your entire body. And it turned you into tiny dots of ink. No! You're a comic book character just like me. No, wait! I'm not Skipper! Oh, really? Then who 
I? I'm... I'm... I'm the colossal elastic boy. Ah, elastic boy. I thought you looked familiar. Well, goodbye, mutant. I have to go back to my home planet of Zargos. You know, I, I can't get star in other comic books. Nice try, elastic boy. But you invaded my secret headquarters. Now, I must destroy you. No, you can't. I'll just stretch out my elastic arms and I'll squeeze you in your body. I don't think so. I'm gonna tear you into pieces and then tear your pieces into pieces. <laughs> One way you could destroy Elastic Boy. What's that? If you don't mind me asking. By sulfuric acid. That's the only way you can destroy my elastic body. <laughs> Oops. I guess I shouldn't have said that. Too late! <laughs> Say goodbye, Elastic Boy. <laughs> One thing you forgot means you can change into a solid fat. And once you change into a liquid, you're dead. Huh? You drink me! The great mass mutant drink by a boy! I've destroyed him! The most evil supervillain to walk the planet is dead! <laughs> to learn they're never done there's a b c's and one two threes what's one plus two ten teacher barbie says try it again three great job Whee! teacher barbie rings the bell for recess fun and gives a hug for a job well done teacher barbie doll comes with two student dolls sounds and barbie voice come from chalkboard batteries not included there she is. My shell's cracking. Tia, she's beautiful. You big... Tia! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a break. So, is it love? Yeah, and love hurts. No game. Over 400,000 kids went to the hospital last year. So put the gear on. If, if you're, you're gonna, gonna play hard, play cool. Always wear safety gear. Brought to you by McDonald's and the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. Seen a rash of these lately. TMK. TMK. Too much Kirby. Think you can't get too much of a good thing? Try new Kirby Superstar. It's full-blown Kirby. Inflated with eight Kirby games. Bloated with 23 Kirby enemies. Bulging with new Kirby powers. Get him into observation. New Kirby Superstar only on SNES. Can your system handle it? Next! <laughs> From the Fox Kids Tick Watch, this is Brian Panade with this groundbreaking news. We have just received this note sent by the Tick himself. You are cordially invited to attend my keen press conference next Saturday morning on Fox Kids, where my secret mission and the location of my missing socks will be revealed to all. What is the Tick's secret mission? Will he return in an all-new adventure? Or will the Tick be no more? Find out next Saturday morning on the Fox Kids Tick Watch.
Fox Kids wants you to be prepared. This alien is a threat to all life on Earth. Prepare for the shocking season premiere of X-Men. There is no refuge from the phalanx. One full hour of totally extreme mutated action. This is the final solution. Don't miss the X-Men one-hour special next, only on Fox Kids. And now, back to our show. Yay. Skipper, there's mail for you again. Yeah, if it's a comic book, you can just throw it out, Mom. Well, I'll just put it over here, and maybe you'll change your mind. Are you going to eat your soup? No, I'm not hungry. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, Mom. I feel fine. Skipper. What happened last night? Mom, I don't want to talk about it. I'll tell you someday. What on earth have you got on your hands? It looks like ink. Mom, I won't get any on the furniture. I'm gonna go watch TV. Elastic boy. Stretch it! <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Chris Leary, and tomorrow morning, here's your all access pass to hear about the great new shows like Big Bad Beetleborg, the long awaited return of The Tick. <laughs> no, you're talking chum. Plus, hear great scoops on Fox Kids' amazing season premiere. So, tomorrow morning, lock your radio into the Fox Kids countdown.